you know, it's a, it's a change for Sonny because he's playing in the box, you know, from a low position instead of dropping in. So things happen a lot faster. But, you know, he, he's reacting superbly. I mean, he's, you know, he's a guy who's got football intelligence. He understands the scheme, played a lot of positions. I think he's going to be great because uh, one of the biggest uh, parts of being a linebacker is you have to know every all the pieces around you so you can play fast. And uh, the sun has shown a lot of that in the first two days. Yeah, I feel it's it's permanent, but um, you know, in terms of base and, and nickel packaging, you know, it's permanent. But there may be other things where he'll still have more personal. You know, there's going to be packaging. With his move to the linebacker, was that more due to he's just grown into it? He's just 235 pounds now, or do you also need bodies against him? He's still having to stay on that backer. Yeah, a little bit of both. I mean, anytime you make a move, you want it to be right for the player and for, you know, the defense and the team. And I think that fit up naturally, you know, Sonny. Sonny had to uh, fight to stay lean as a DB. And now, he, now you know, he gets to eat, you know. And, and, uh, and But um, I think it worked out for both of us. Well, you know, when, when, when I first met him, or when I first got here, you know, I think I mean, everybody talks about, you know, He's going to be a linebacker. He's going to be a linebacker. But I really wanted to see him at safety first. That's what he wanted to do. That's what I wanted to see. You know, I, I felt long term in my vision for him that playing safety early in his career was going to give him a better perspective of the defense. You know, um, had Malcolm Rodriguez, who was is with the Lions. At Oklahoma State. Now he's about half a sunny size, but he started as a safety. And when he became a linebacker, he understood things a lot better. So my vision for Sonny was to you know, start him out of safety and then eventually move him down. How is CJ Hicks doing? And is CJ and, and Sonny competing for the same spot, generally speaking? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, part of the time they are. Um, you know, part of the time we'll have all three of them on the field with coach. So. There's balance there in that they're competing, and they also can be in the same package. But uh, CJ's got a great attitude. And, uh, I've always felt that uh, CJ has a lot of pressure on him, you know, being from Ohio. Um, but he's coachable, and he understands growth. You know, I plan for him, and he's got a great attitude. Are you powers? Where's he at in this third year? Probably, and if you didn't see it because he didn't play a lot in the games, but in our opinion, Gabe, you know, the second half of the season, what we see in practices, is probably one of the most improved guys. He really was. So, um, he made a huge jump second half of the season in terms of what he was doing in practice and, and when he got into the game. A huge jump, you know. So, I feel like he is a guy that is going to compete. Um, he's a guy that's going to be ready. You know, I feel like he's made tremendous improvements and, and we can uh, start to count on him. Are you looking at CJ just at will right now or is he a guy that's moving around different spots? CJ's moving around too. You know, so, you know, you get into a three linebacker package, um, you know, Sonny and Cody and CJ, you're, you're pretty good, right? But now, but you can't just have one guy, so, you know, if Sonny's not there at the Sam, then CJ's got to know how to play it too. You know, so that you can bring Gabe in at Mike and Cody can play well, you know, and you still have a great lineup. So you always have to plan for, you know, okay, we'll start out this way, but who's, who's in next? So CJ has to know both positions. Too. Are y'all yeah, still a 4 2 5 defense? How would you, I mean, yeah, we're still 4 2 5. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, absolutely. You just have so many multiple. Absolutely. We're still 4 2 5, but um, multiple, multiple deployments. Um, at times, you know, we can be 4 3, but you still got Sonny, right? So now you got, yeah, you got Sonny uh, at a Sam backer who who's, has experience playing safety. 
You know what I mean? So that 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 really creates more multiplicity. How does it help you do your job now that you have a full time linebackers coach in Jake Barnitis? Yeah, it's uh, you know, just having James initially last year was a big bonus. Um, because of his experience and, and the way he works with the players, he's a lot nicer to them than I am. You know, <laughs> so last year it was good cop, bad cop. You know, now the bad cops left the room, so I'm sure the players love it. You know? Jim, as you're heading into the season, I think the defense—you look at the defensive line, it feels settled. You look at the secondary, it feels settled. I think outside looking in, linebacker is the one spot. Where people are, what, what's there? What you know? That may be the question. Like, how confident are you? in this group that you have the right guys to make sure that that isn't a, a weak spot in the defense. Yeah, really confident. I think adding Sonny in makes a guy who's got a lot of experience, a lot of playing time. You know, that really bolsters that position in that room. So I'm confident in what we have there. Cody Simon, you know, is a guy who we think is going to be great and he's really a, a leader of the defense. So I think it'll be a strength. Is there a role for Arvell this year, like you see other special teams? You know, um, yeah, Arvell, you know, we kind of experimented with Arvell at the uh, end last year a little bit. And, uh, you know, I keep getting asked, you know, can he be a linebacker? Can he be a linebacker? And I think he can be a great linebacker. You know, he just needs growth and learning. So um, I would like to just continue to grow Arvell mentally and football intelligence, you know, at the linebacker position. So um, will there be a role for him this year? I don't know because he is so athletic, you know. He's a guy you kind of look at and say, I, I can do different things with. You know, when we get to the season, you know, that's a guy you can always create something for that doesn't involve as much thinking, you know, so he can just go. But out here, I want to keep growing him as a linebacker because his time will come. Yeah, I mean it's it, it's it's always there, you know. I'd like to get it in this spring. Um, you know, we didn't used it, dabbled in it year one, um, didn't use it last year. Um, it's always in our package, you know. So at some point, we'd like to get to it just to kind of keep it fresh. Does it look like the uh, Reggie Miles is a pickle? Uh, what do you like about him there? He's got good size for it. Yeah, he's got great speed. Um, you know, good size. He's just a, he, he looks like a nickel. You know, his skills are his skills are like a nickel. So um, you know, he's still learning. But you saw uh, Jordan make just some, uh, tremendous progress with that last year. So we got to we got to bring Lorenzo on there too. Looked like hero last year in the back half of the year really kind of came on there. With Mike Dawn and Ty and Tyler kind of moving into the starting spot there, how important was this spring for Hero? Yeah, Hero really flashed last year at times when you go back and watch the film. So uh, the fact that we play a lot of rushmen, I mean, that's a, that's a guy who, who needs to have a good spring for us because he's going to be uh, he's going to be next man in, you know, and um, you know, with a guy like Hero, if he starts to really come along, you know, you start to look at some, uh, you know, double eagle type of packaging. You know, my thoughts are, you know, with the, with Jack and JT, you know, that at some point um, I want to train them uh, as outside linebackers. You know, so if you got Hero, tie you can tie, and you get to you can get to more of, you know. Uh, you know, five five guys, five D linemen in the game. You know, with training guys like Jack and and uh, JT and Kenyatta. You know, it's you know, just kind of in my thoughts. Like, if we're strong inside, those those guys can become more multiple. You know, I, I think it's techniques and things that they can use when they get to the next level. So that's kind of in my thoughts too. Can you expound on that a little bit? You're saying Jack and JT possibly. With that outside linebacker concept, what exactly that? Well, you know, you're always looking to get the best 11 on the field, right? So when when you look at a, uh, a 12 personnel set, you say, okay, I got you know, Sonny, Cody, and CJ with, with the four down, you know? 
you know, could we have another component with, you know, Jack and JT and, and three tackles and Cody and Sonny or Cody and CJ, you know, I think, you know, who's going to be, who's going to be the best 11, you know, against bigger sets, could it possibly be Hero, you know, versus having a third linebacker, could it be uh, three tackles, you know. That's in my thoughts. We haven't installed that yet, but I, but I, um, I'd like to get to that just to see. And like I said, I feel like with those guys, uh, the more they know of how to really be an outside linebacker, the better it's going to help them when they get to the next the next level. So it's something I'd like to do for them too. I would expect, I mean, Lathan was making very good progress, you know. Always loved the way he played, his attitude, his physicality. First year, you know, he had some eye violations. You know, he was, he was improving on that until he got hurt. So, um, you know, he goes down, you know, you think, you know, maybe we're going to have a problem. And then what develops is... Um, Really, to me, he goes he goes down. You know, Jordan's development at uh, Nickel is it really came because of that. I feel like you know when you had to move Sonny out of that Nickel position to get back to take Lakers' place, Jordan Jordan got a lot better. You know, so um, you never know when those things happen. You know, you look at I just feel bad for Lakers first, and then if you start looking at the defense. Um, you know, I think it, that uh, when that happened, it, it helped Jordan develop. Coach, thank you very much. Folks, we have JT Tui Molowal on the 20. Yeah. A little bit. I have dabbled in it, you know, not a whole lot. But I just, the only one I do was best for the personnel, you know. So my thinking is, okay, you know, maybe we're not built for a jack type type of package. It's not what I like, it's just what for us. But maybe we're not built for Jack, but maybe we're, we could be built more for a double equal kind of setup. You know, it's just something to think about.